Sub D is the newest geometry capability in ANSYS Discovery. Sub D is the third type of body in Discovery after NURBS and facets. Like NURBS and facets, Sub D bodies can be closed or open and have their associated icon in the structure tree. But what is Sub D? Subdivision modeling has gained popularity in the past few years. They are parametric surfaces that can be defined over meshes or standard topology. This results in a truly flexible geometry modeling tool that can help designers and engineers create flexible, organic features that would have previously taken significantly longer to make. When you launch Discovery for the first time, the SubD tab is hidden by default. To activate it, go to the Discovery ribbon tab settings and check the box for SubD. SubD bodies can be created two different ways in Discovery. The first method to create SubD bodies is the Primitive tool. The Primitive tool has three main options to help you start a SubD body from scratch. Cubic, Pyramidal, and Torus. You can modify these simple forms into more complex shapes. The second option to create SubD bodies is to convert from facets or solids. Click the Convert tool to see the Convert toolbar appear on screen. In the Conversion Type dropdown, there are a few options. You can go from facets to SubD, solid to SubD cage, and go from SubD back to facets and solids, respectively. Selecting the facets to SubD option, select the facet body and click the green check mark. The body is now a SubD body. Let's backtrack to making a primitive. With a SubD body, you can use the geometry editing tools of Discovery as you would a normal solid body. With the Move tool, move the selected edges or faces to change the geometry. With the Pull tool, you have the option to extrude and keep proportional. With the Extrude option active, you can extrude a face without affecting much of the surrounding regions. With the option disabled, the face expands and affects the tangential faces. Let's now take a look at the SubD modification tools. The Subdivide tool allows the user to increase the number of faces on the SubD body, which gives you greater detailed control over areas of interest. You can select how many subdivisions you want in the cut count. The Bridge tool allows you to create a blended bridge between two selected faces. If you select two faces on opposing sides of the SubD body, it creates a whole region within the part. The Split tool lets you select an edge or an edge loop and splits the faces normal to the edge selection. Split is similar to the Subdivide tool, but just for a specific edge region. Crease allows you to sharpen or smooth out selected edge regions, useful for adding detail to your part. The Snap tool lets you snap the selected face to the plane or another surface geometry. When you convert from facets to sub-D, sometimes the resulting sub-D body isn't the exact original shape. The Smooth tool helps you smooth the sub-D geometry to a faceted body. An interesting feature of sub-D is the ability to turn on the control cage. The control cage is a useful tool to help users understand how the sub-D body behaves. With the cage active, you can use the move and pull tools to manipulate the cage's faces and edges. In this course, we will cover using the cage to manipulate sub-D bodies, as well as how to use the sub-D modification tools directly on sub-D faces in the context of product design concept modeling.